Hello there, sweeties. So, in today's video, I want to talk about something that I think is really neglected, particularly when you're suffering because you don't know what to do, you're, at, you're in some sort of crisis in your life, or you feel lost, or you feel like change is impossible, or you're just stressed out, you're anxious, it seems like you're not getting where you want to get to. You know, oftentimes, I notice that we neglect some pretty basic stuff when it comes to our mental health. And this is what this video is about. But before we get into that, I want to invite anyone who is into my work to be part of the Inner Mastery Lab. It's a program created for children of narcissists to help them find and create a sense of self in the adult phase. Because what happens basically to these people is that they were never allowed to connect to their own desires and express them in a consistent, um, supported, spontaneous way. And so now they're disconnected from their desires, their true self. And so the program is an educational program that will give you tools for actually knowing what this means to connect um, to your true self and to create a life based around what you actually want, what you actually want to be, what you actually want to experience. So if you want to be part of it, just click on the link in the description. And oh, one more thing, from the 27th of December to the 31st, there is an early bird discount. So on January 1st, the price goes up and we start on the 13th. Okay, so let's talk about what we neglect when it comes to mental health. My water first. So basically, I feel that every time we are suffering, right? And and of course, there's there's. I'd like to make you know to, to differentiate suffering from pain. Pain is part of life. Anytime you want to change, you want to expand, you want to learn something new, or even if you don't want any of that at all, you know, change is gonna happen because that's just what life is. And when change comes, there's growth pains. You are going to feel uncomfortable. Things are going to be difficult. You're going to have obstacles. You're going to have to learn a bunch of new skills. Okay, now we have suffering. Suffering is basically like a psychic condition that is not as related to outside events as we think. It's a sort of identification with a self-image um, that excludes the possibility of happiness. We keep on re reliving the same set of beliefs about ourselves, about what's possible, about what isn't possible, and and we just don't take, we don't know what steps to take, or we take the wrong steps, and we just kind of stay in the same place, or keep going back to the same stuff over and over and over again. I find that we can, you know, when it comes to pain, there's not anything that you can do about it. You're just going to have to if you want to grow and you want to heal from whatever and you want to reach your goals, the lessons that life throws at you in the form of obstacles, well, you're just going to have to you know, endure the growth pains and learn the lessons and eventually it'll hurt a little bit less. That's just how it works. Now, when it comes to suffering, I find that, you know, oftentimes we're lost in suffering, maybe for hours or for weeks or for months or even for years. And we just can't seem to find a way out of that like psychological bubble, that prison we're in, that kind of excludes the possibility of even seeing another type of reality. I find that this is often due to us neglecting um, basic routines in our lives that help us process our emotions and deal with obstacles. Because like I said, obstacles are just part of life. I find that when we are dissociated from our true selves, and that means that we are constantly on the go, we never pause and ask ourselves in silence what we actually desire. We don't, um, when we feel discomfort, uh, because, you know, I don't know, something happens in, in our relationships or at work or whatever, uh, we don't, when we don't pause to understand why we felt the way we felt, um, what we'd like to change in case we, we're in a similar situation in the future. We, when we don't have like these moments where we regularly check in with our desires and figure out what the heck we want and what actually went wrong and why we keep, you know, ending up in the same situation, 
you can get lost in this in suffering for many years for decades your entire life even so the simple act of and, and there's a thing when when you're dissociated you don't you can't see your you, you can't really keep your own best interest in mind and you start neglecting basic things like what you eat um, your social life or the quality of the people you spend time with the things you you think about but I mean even more even things that are like even more basic such as sleeping right um, basic hygiene even sometimes you're having a really hard time dealing with life and things are feeling kind of bleak or kind of like they don't really have meaning or there's not much purpose and then when you stop and think about it you know you've been eating pizza for one week and you haven't been sleeping right at all and you've been locked in your in your house and you haven't been going out and you haven't been having meaningful connection with people that you get a positive energy from and that um, leave you energized and actually um, help you identify your true desires and build a life around your true desires and I, I find that if you just start fixing those basic things like okay let's let's ditch the pizza and let's you know buy something a little bit healthier maybe some fruits and vegetables and a little something different because I like you know I like something that's not 100% healthy but maybe it's not an entire pizza when you start making those choices that support just basic self-care all of a sudden the emotional part starts working or at least 50% of that weight um, comes off your shoulders and it seems lighter the thing is we often forget that the emotional um, psychological and physiological state that we're in it distorts the way that we view reality so if you are depriving yourself of adequate sleep of meaningful human connection, uh, of um, in touch, you know, we need to be touched, of healthy food, if you're depriving yourself of some form of exercise that makes sense to you and that you actually enjoy, what else, guys? Um, yeah, if you're depriving yourself of just like, you know, basic hygiene, you don't, you don't change your clothes, you don't brush your teeth, maybe you work at home and you're like, oh, what difference does it make? Or, you know, you go out in the street and you don't care what you look like, not because you need to be worried about what people think of you, but because everything we do is an opportunity to love ourselves, including the, the clothes you wear, whether you brush your teeth or not. So these are all opportunities for you to love yourself, right? And when we let all of these opportunities go by, we eat crap, you know, we sleep we don't sleep or we sleep super super late all the time or not enough or too much or whatever it is and we're dealing with people who just like get us down or, or and we can't even tell them about our dreams because if we do they start projecting their fears onto us oh but have you seen the economy oh but what about this or what about that so guys the message of this video is sometimes all you need to ask yourself is am i treating myself well like a mother would treat her own daughter or like a mother would treat her own son am i being am i providing myself that basic care that is going to make processing my emo emotions having these moments of feedback actually noticing that i'm going crazy and not just you know um, having that become like this big domino effect where i can't even control or regulate my emotions anymore Am I taking care of myself by using every moment and every little choice throughout the day from what I eat to who I interact with as an opportunity to actively take care of myself? So that's the message I want to leave you guys with in these holiday holiday days and this holiday season uh, because I know it can be a really, really tense period of the year for many of you, for many of you. And I invite you if you feel disconnected from your family right now or you feel that things are super tough or you're by yourself for the first time I invite you to use this opportunity to figure out how you can best take care of yourself you know you can create a moment um, you can you know go through these next few days feeling crappy about life feeling crappy about yourself and it's okay to feel crappy about things but you can also ask yourself okay Maybe I'm not having that traditional holiday, you know, that I think my friends are having. Maybe they're not, you know. 
um, but how can I make this an opportunity to take care of myself, to relax, to actually enjoy what I'm doing, and you know what, just to pamper myself a little bit, pamper my family, the family I do have, the friends I do have, all right? So that is it, guys. Remember, the Inner Mastery Lab starts on January 13th, but you can get an early bird discount from the 27th of this month, December, to the 31st. If you like this video, then please like it. Leave your comment below. I love I love reading your feedback. I don't answer because I don't have time, but I read almost everything you guys write. Almost everything, because sometimes I don't know why I can't read certain comments, but anyway, it happens. If you thought the video was useful, then share it. It might be useful for someone else as well. Happy holidays.